Hey everyone, Mango Sentinel here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Raid Shadow Legends. We're gonna do some summons today and maybe some other things. Take a look at some of my other units. Uh, again, a big shout out to Plurium for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much. Glad to give back to this wonderful game because um, I'm loving it. I'm loving it to death. But the problem is, cannot get a legendary to save my life. Um, everybody else has a legendary. Let's go look at the the arena here. Let's go look. Look at, look at, look at. This guy's got a... Can't see that anymore. Look at this guy right here. Look at this guy. Got a legendary. Got a legendary. He's got Septimus, another legendary. And he's got... Okay, that guy's an epic light and dark unit. Okay, okay. I take it back. He has three of four legendaries. But basically, everybody in my range has legendaries but me. So I'm just crossing my fingers. One of these times... It's coming for me, and it's it's gonna be this time. We've got 22 summons, 0.6% chance, oh, I'm sorry, 0.5% chance of a legendary, 8% chance of an epic. Some of the units I'm really, really, really craving, the one I want the most is um, Julianne. Uh, I don't know her right name, Juliana, Julianne, uh, whatever name for Romeo and Juliet uh, they have for her in this game. I just love her design, and she's a uh, epic, so there's a chance. Um, outside of that, I really just don't care. Just somebody good. Um, preferably a legendary. I want to get one one day. Or just one epic Lord is fine. Oh, is that so? Terror Beast? Who is that? Allure? Okay, wow. That's that's three epics. Um, I already have Allure. I literally just six-starred Allure. Um, so that's a skill up for me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice, nice, nice. So I literally just did this. Um, she's really great because she has decreased turn meter three hits, so 75% decreased um, turn meter uh, when she crits, and you're gonna crit every time with her. Um, her second one has an AOE damage. It also has a 30% chance to place um, dec defense decrease, and it also debuffs for people who are under the defense decrease debuff already. And this one has a um, ignores defense, 50% of it, and a 30% additional chance to crit. And now there are two ways to build Allura when I first got her. One was 70% chance, and that way we don't waste any crit on her hellish flays. But instead, I went to go with, like, the 90%-ish chance, so um, I didn't miss any of her turn meter decrease. I don't know why she wants to talk today. I'm not pressing that button, Elgato. Um, this is the most I've ever got from one. Um, I feel like I've never seen Terror Beast before, and I feel like it's probably for a reason. Uh, so this guy has a 20% chance of increasing the cooldown by one turn at random um attacks two times at random damage infliction is proportion to this champion's max hp one enemy two times fully heals Ooh. okay so this guy does not look so good um not really happy with him Aether. i've not seen this guy either he's big and beefy um he looks like a new unit like i feel like he's one of the new ones um, so 25% chance of placing Provoke for one turn, uh, two times at random, another Provoke, and places a counterattack buff on this champion when hit with a critical. So this is just like my, um, Seekers, where he's hit with a critical at defense buffs. Um, and it also heals on its Ascended, and it's passive, uh, immune to stun, freeze, and sleep only when Kalia is on the same team. Okay, so this reminds me of my Alaka. Um, I think Alaka was the same, only when Kalia was on the team. So I have a feeling he's not rated too well. Um, I just want to go check really quickly, especially that Terror Beast. Um, three epics, and neither of them I'm super happy about. Uh, I feel like this guy wasn't too great, yeah. And um, not that ratings tell you everything. It's just fun to look at every now and then. And this guy, uh, yeah, that's that's about what I expected. So two kind of duds. And um, as we can see here, this is my Allure. I just six-starred her. She's got 90% um, crit exact seed. Okay, so we have 12 more chances. Give us something good. Come on. We've got to get a legendary. It's been forever. We've never had one. Shatterbones. I think I have him already. Oh, no legendary. I'm pretty sure I already have Shatterbones. Yeah, we do. We have this guy already. Um, so that's another dupe. Okay, and for those of you that have been following my videos for a while, you know... I love these guide missions. The rewards are so great. We've got a sacred shard coming. Once we fuse Justicar, so let's go do it. 
Got it already. We're all set. And then we get our sacred chart. I just want to cross my fingers. Cross them so hard to get like a Juliet or something like that. Um, or realistically, a uh, legendary would be nice too. I would take one of those. My first ever fusion in this game. Um, let's see what happens. What's up, buddy? Uh, how are his reviews? I'm guessing pretty trash. Oof, yeah. <laughs> he does not have the best of skills. Don't worry, we're going to fuse him into Relic Keeper eventually. Um, awesome. So that is finishing this chapter, getting my 75 gems, oh, getting my Sacred Shard, and opening up the next chapter. That's so exciting. Oh, we can do this too. Start doing these. Um, awesome. Okay, so let's do this here. We also have this summon event going on now. Um, I didn't have it for the start of this video, but I do now. So there's a summon event. Um, we get 500 points, I believe, for a sacred shard. So we're gonna go all the way up to here-ish. Um, and then we just need to do a little bit more. I wanna get the epic skill tome, but I'm gonna need at least one more sacred charm to get that. But we have two days, 10 hours to do it. So we can manage it. Okay, if you give me another seeker from this, so help me please give me a legendary come on come on no nah, it's not a legendary oh it's so bad i don't want another husk oh my luck sucks my luck sucks okay so we have a couple more summons thank you from plurium for this and it is time to get my first legendary i can feel it it's got to come. We've at least got to get Juliana or something, right? We've got five sacreds and 20 ancient shards. And I really hope, I really hope we get something. Um, so we're just going to start off by uh, pausing the video and clearing my bag space because I just realized I'm full. Okay, I made some space. Here we go. Let's try to get at least a purple out of each of these tenfolds from these ancients. And then let's try to get one legendary from the final here. Oh, starting off with a Grim skin. I don't know who that is, which kind of scares me. <laughs> but we started off with a purple. Um, Grim skin. I've not seen nor heard of him, so my guess is he's not so great. 25% chance of placing decreased speed. Uh, provoke. Yeah, so he does not look good at all. I don't like his kit. Uh, so we're just going to cry a little bit about that one and go into the next one but it is a new epic let the new epic be um juliet please come on purples purple yay what do we get yes 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 we finally got her yes 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 yes, yes. oh my god i'm so hyped i've been waiting for her for so long she's the first person i really saw that stood out to me oh my god i am so so hyped to finally get her she's got an insane skill set two attacks on her skill one um and the crits fill her turn meter she also has a crit buff on the champion and attacks an enemy another two times and also places a poison for three turns if the attack is crit also if your romero's on the team we don't have Mar romero so we're gonna ignore that for now she also has a 75% chance of placing HP burn, which does like 75,000 damage to the boss right now. And that is not so. I'm so excited for this. 103 base speed as well. I can't even express how stoked I am to finally get Juliana, my next six star. Yes. Yes, that's so exciting. Okay, um, now let's get into the sacred shards. And um, I'm not really sure what else I'm hoping for right now. Because I got the one I really wanted. I would love some um, fun dungeon units, I guess, is what I'm hoping for. Anyway, let's start off with the first one here and, and cross our fingers. Okay. <laughs> this is my fourth one of this guy. Shatter bones. Um, you can go shatter somebody else's bones because you're not getting on my team. Come on, we've got to get a legendary sometime. Give me the orange. Give me the orange. Give me the orange. Okay. Who is this? Zelota. We've already got Zelota as well. Lots of dupes, uh, unfortunately, but it's okay. It's okay. We got Juliana. And who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Come on, legendary. Everybody else. Yes! 
Our first legendary! No! <laughs> it had to be her! It had to be her! Oh my god, I don't know if she's good or not, but... <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Uh, look at her stare at me. Oh no. Okay. Uh, so, accident me two times. Each hit has a... Wow, I can't even look at the screen right now. All I'm seeing is boobs. <laughs> Each has a 30% chance of placing an attack debuff. There we go. This is fine. I like this skill better. Um, places two bomb debuffs that detonate. I've not seen bomb before in this game, so that's really cool. Um, and also instantly detonates bombs. Wow. Okay, so... <laughs> oh my god. Give me another one. Come on, come on. Something cool. Oh my god, too! Who are you, Martyr? Yes! Yes! This is the best day ever! <laughs> yes! Nice, nice, nice. Bless, bless my luck today. Wow, Martyr is bonkers. I love her to death. She has um, immunity or something. She's got something really insane. I always counterattack buff. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, I, I always fight her and she always kicks my butt. She also has an ally defense buff for all battles, which is something I really need because um, I just, I just don't have any arena skill or any non-arena leader skills I can do. Wow, I am. <laughs> Today's a good day. Okay, okay. Let's go. Three in a row. Come on, come on, come on. Bless. Bless this RNG. Okay, okay, I'll take it. Ooh, Crypt Knight. Or Crypt Witch. I've already got her. <laughs> Who even cares? We just got three insane pulls. War Mother, eh? Wow, I'm so happy for that martyr because that War Mother... Um, Jesus, how bad are her reviews? Okay, not bad. Not bad. That's so, so funny. Anyways, uh, we're gonna go do stuff because I have no idea what to do anymore. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe as always. Make sure you download this game through the link in the description below and uh, come join us. I'm gonna switch to Martyr because it's much more pleasant to look at. Have a wonderful day. Bye, everybody.